Yo, what's up guys? Got Pokeam here to talk about the new uh, tier shifts for August. Basically, a few Pokemon have dropped, a few Pokemon have risen, and uh, I think some of them are pretty interesting. Uh, as you can see on your screen, there are Pokemon such as Shaman who moved from UU to RU, Tangrowth who moved from RU to OU, and um, Slurpuff who moved from UU to RU. So, a, a few of these are pretty interesting and I actually want to discuss them also bring them to your attention I think I'm gonna start from the bottom <laughs> it's not a Drake reference but I'm gonna um, start from the bottom just because I think the Tangrowth one is pretty easy to understand now Tangrowth actually recently moved from RU to uh, OU these changes have not taken effect in the tier but the main reason Tangrowth moved up to R um, to OU is because its usage went up a hell of a lot. The Rocky Helmet defensive set with Leech Seed, with Knock Off, with Sleep Powder, uh, was a very, very solid check to Pokemon such as Azu, Breloom, uh, Landorus, whereas the Assault Vest set, which was also pretty popular, um, allowed it to take Dracos from Lotties to knock off items. You could even run Sludge Bomb to deal with, uh, with Altaria since it is a 2 hit KO most of the time. And then Giga Drain, obviously, and Hidden Power Ice or Fire. But uh, basically, its usage went up. These Pokemon, uh, Jambat had a solid team with Tangrowth. A lot of people were using Tangrowth in tournaments as well. That rose its usage on the ladder. Uh, but it was just a solid check to most of OU's physical attackers like Tyranitar. Even Bisharp was 2 KO'd uh, by Earthquake after Stealth Rock most of the time. And the defensive set uh, with Sleep Powder just made it a pretty solid... Um, Pokemon in OU that, uh, a pretty solid grass type in OU that wasn't weak to like Lottie, for example. Like Ferrothorn is weak to HP Fire. Yes, this thing uh, takes super effective damage from HP Fire, but it's not four times weak to it. And then Venusaur, of course, uh, is taking super effective damage from Psy Shock. But um, Tangrowth, again, rising in popularity, mainly due to the fact that its Rocky Helmet set can tank hits from even Scizor and getting that chip damage uh, from Landers and putting it to sleep. And its Assault Vest set did not die to any special attack. Um, outside of maybe like Zardwise, I guess Fire Blast, but that's not something you use Tangrowth for. You use it to be able to check and switch in on a lot of Dracos to knock off their life orb and to uh, neutralize them as a threat. Um, and again, to be able to deal with Landorus, Dual Dance Landorus, even Dragonite to a stun if you're running HP Ice, because HP Ice also lets you reliably deal with any Landorus set really. Um, and HP Fire was also a decent option because this was a good switch into Feral Thorn and allows you to uh, deal with that. Even Earthquake was ran, that way you can catch Heat Ran upon switchings. Uh, knocking Off was so big on this set. Knock Off is so big on this set because Tangrowth lures in Pokemon such as Heat Ran. Um, and if you're able to knock off that thing's leftovers, Heat Ran no longer has any recovery at all. So with Stealth Rock Up, that allows for Pokemon like maybe Zard X to sweep, like Scizor to potentially sweep or do some late game cleaning. So. Tangrowth throws up because of those two sets uh, rising in popularity and for good reason. They were good sets. So Pelipper moved down from uh, Pelipper moved down from NU to uh, PU, which isn't necessarily bad at all because PU now gets an even better, I think, defogger. I think Pelipper is a really solid defogger, especially with um, Smeargle moving down to PU as well. So um, Typically, I think PU had, what, Avalog as its main ways of getting rid of hazards with the Rapid Spin. Uh, maybe even uh, Cryogonal, if I'm not mistaken, was down here as well. Yeah, Cryogonal, Avalog. Uh, I guess it did have some Defoggers and some rare Flying types, but I think the best spinner in the tier, or the best way to get rid of hazards in the tier, was Avalog. Uh, maybe even Luminion using Defog, but Pelipper now has that competition uh, with Luminion. Yes. Luminion has higher uh, speed than Pelipper, however Pelipper has that Stab Hurricane which allows it to effectively deal with the Grass types in the tier which are pretty abundant considering uh, PU just has like literally everything that's left. I'm trying to show you guys the Pokemon as well. Um, obviously giving you uh, a nice defogger that can defog on Pokemon like Basculin, um, the Quiver Dance Pokemon such as Mothman, uh, Beautifly, though it is weak to rocks, so maybe um, maybe it won't be the best defogger, but then again, Avalog was weak to spin blockers, I guess you could say, because it couldn't obviously rapid spin on the spin blockers, but Pelipper is very defensive, being able to take on hits from 
Pretty much Matang, like it walls Matang unless Matang runs Thunder Punch and obviously has Scald Burn and Reliable Recovery in Roost which definitely sets it apart from uh, Lumineon as a Defogger um, and just Scald Burns mainly there. Being able to check Monferno unless Monferno runs something like Thunder Punch again uh, because Close Combat and Fire Punch aren't doing too much, not even from the Iron Fist set which only of course boosts the uh, Fire Punch on that. But uh, it also gives P.U. a defogger that can deal with Roselia because, again, Hurricane. Um, and Roselia is typically... I guess you could run offensive Roselia, but usually they're specially or physically defensive in the tier to be able to take on Pokemon like Simipore and just the water types in the tier as well. So uh, P.U. just got a pretty solid defogger. Obviously, they had uh, Vullaby as well. But um, Pelipper in a hole is a Pokemon that could take on... Monferno, one of the best Pokemon, in my opinion, in PU. Uh, so now they just got a decent defogger. Girder finally went back to NU. It's been a while since Girder has actually been NU. And um, this is pretty big for the tier, considering in RU, uh, there were Pokemon like uh, DNC as well as... Um, there was DNC, there was uh, Fletchling, Pokemon, and even uh, Gramble that could just stop Girder sweep. Uh, which super effective hits or even wearing it down, even Togetic could deal with it to an extent. And Venusaur obviously made it harder as well for Girder to put in some work because of Sleep Powder uh, and Sludge Bomb doing about 30-40%. If you're offensive, Venusaur is doing even more. Leaf Storm is doing like close to 80 I think to Girder, maybe even more uh, depending. But in the NU tier where the main fairy is Mega Audino, and Mach Punch is just great stab considering so many Pokemon are weak to it. And Knock Off and Drain Punch is pretty much all you need in this tier. Being able to deal with Musharna, Rotom, uh, obviously there's Scyther in the tier that can give it some trouble. But, and Vileplume to an extent, though Vileplume doesn't beat it unless it gets pretty lucky versus it with Sleep Turns. Um, but yeah, I can see Girder enjoying this tier a lot. Uh, paired with Pursuit Trappers to deal with Zatu and maybe things for Weezing as well. Weezing will probably have to run... Well, I guess if Weezing has Taunt, they could deal with it anyway, but if Gurner does get the Guts, then it won't be beating, um, Weezing won't be beating a 1v1 unless it has Taunt, but, uh, a pretty nice Pokemon to get back into the tier, uh, as it matches up pretty well versus the majority of the tier. It's an annoying Pokemon to switch into, just a knockoff, it's Bulk with the Aviolite, and Mach Punch, it's, it's solid, it's solid. Uh, there's definitely Garbodor, um, Mega Audino, and Pokemon like Charizard, to understand, they could deal with it. But not 100%. Like, they, if, if Girder starts bulking too much, they're not going to be able to deal with it too much. So, uh, definitely uh, a cool mod to get back in NU. And um, I want to see how maybe Scyther will rise because of this. I mean, Garbodor is already just a great Pokemon in the tier in general. Always reliable, getting up spikes, being able to deal with Mega Aldino. So, it'll be interesting to see how um, Girder usage actually changes that. And uh, not that changes it, but... Uh, definitely, I could see Garbodor usage rising. Uh, again, we're just going through it. Mantine's Air Slash definitely deals with it as well, but you can even run like a Sheer Force set with like Thunder Punch. It's a great lure for Mantine uh, because Mantine is typically my main switch in to this if it's not Garbodor, uh, if they are on the team. But uh, next up, we have um, Cacturn, which moved from uh, Cacturn moved from NU to PU. Uh, again, PU is one of those tiers that has so many Pokemon, so it's kind of hard to see how this will immediately affect the tier as a whole. But looking at PU itself, PU does not have good Dark Resistances at all. Like, I'm going through the entire list. Like, this is the first Dark Resist I've seen right here. Carbink. Clefairy. But even Clefairy, um... Clefairy, so then again, Cacton doesn't have the best special defense, but I'm sure Clefairy's, uh... Moonblast, Clefairy, your Fairy P, you come mine. I don't think it's Okoing at all. That's yeah, definitely not Okoing. See, unless it boosts alongside it. Um, and Cacton obviously has the options of Sucker Punch as well as Nasty Plot. I could even see the Nasty Plot set putting in work. But I definitely like Sucker Punch on this mom because again, P, U is lacking in the um, in the Dark Resist, especially if you couple that with Grass that has pretty perfect coverage uh, in this tier anyway and sucker punch obviously allows you to deal with just faster mons uh, even block crogonal spin just because of that piss poor defenses um but yeah i could definitely see maybe something like nasty plot coming through in this tier 
uh, nasty plot allowing you to overwhelm physically defensive clef uh, and you can run maybe run mixed with sucker punch because the nasty plot set actually deals with mawal especially because mawal is kind of not not that it's forced but the defensive set runs physically defensive because of pokemon like stoutland in the tier so um I could definitely see maybe some sort of nasty plot or sucker punch. Obviously, Monferno is just going to be checking that thing with mock punch or U-turn or fire punch or close combat, whatever. Uh, but I could definitely see this thing as a wall breaker in the tier, though it is slow, um, just because of the lack of dark resist in the tier itself. So pretty cool move. Muck actually moved down as well to PU from NU. Um, again, uh, it's really hard to say anything just because. Muck is the type of Pokemon that, I mean, sure, it can absorb Toxic Spikes, but that's pretty much it, but just being that, that's, that's that toxic, that poison trait that it has, uh, did not mean to change you, <laughs> did not mean to change you, um, into this, but we'll go down to the PU tier as well and see how we think that'll affect it. Yeah, honestly, I don't see, uh, how much Muck will be doing in this tier, um, it's not going to be tanking hits from Stoutland. It's not going to be tanking hits from Monferno that are boosted. It doesn't appreciate switching in. Um, Golem obviously outright beats it. But then again, it is. It, it can run like an Assault Vest. It can run... I don't know how much Curse will be doing. I mean, it gives PU another check to Clefable. It straight up walls Clefable. So, it probably has its usage just based off of that. And obviously the ability... Um, Poison Touch is pretty nasty too because if you switch into it and you're resisted hit, it does have that chance to poison you no matter what move it goes for. So maybe not the worst drop, uh, drop for this tier, uh, especially because it can just outright deal with Clefable, which is ridiculous in itself. Clefable does the exact same thing. It also deals with um, Roselia pretty well, resisting its dual stab. And um, I guess it has strong stab and gunk shot as well. So... Maybe Muck will be doing something, especially packed with the elemental punches. Um, I don't know. I just think, I think that the fact that it can straight up wall the clef sets, I uh, definitely gives it some viability in the tier. But outside of that, I'm not sure what you'll be using. But that, that in itself, it's pretty big, just because clef is does the exact same thing that it does in OU that it does in PU. It combines up and wins. Uh, it just has an Aviolite this time instead of leftovers. So. Next up, Quagsire moved down. Quagsire actually moved down from um, from OU to UU, and I was a bit surprised at this, especially because stall. I feel like Quagsire is a staple on most stalls, um, mainly because you know ST Scizor can break through stall. Uh, but I guess Static Static Zapdos has found its place on some variants of Stall as well, but mainly DDs are at X, so I'm not sure how well that affects Stall in uh, OU. I know there's different variations of Stall. I know there's that Weavile Stall that ABR had, um, but obviously it went down because of its usage. Its usage went down, but yeah, Stall is going to be struggling, I think, with um, breakers like Zard and uh, yeah, mainly Zard and Scizor. Um, obviously, there's Pokemon like Skarmory that can ch check Scizor to an extent with maybe counter and phase it out as well. But even Bisharp, like, Stall is not going to appreciate these mons at all. So maybe that's good for OU. Uh, part of the reason that that Pokemon probably moved down as well is because of what was has been moving up in OU. Uh, Pokemon like Mega Heracross, which you actually have up there, moved up from BL to OU because the bulky Heracross has actually been having a lot of usage lately. It tanks Latios's uh, Life Orb, Psy Shock, um, and it breaks through stall. It doesn't need uh, speed in order to do what it does. So Quagsire moving down, probably helping out. Um, I think it probably kill, uh, not kill stall, no, definitely no. Stall will never be killed. Stall has members like Unaware Clefairy that could probably, a uh, Clefable, excuse me. Sorry, we're still stuck in, uh, we're still stuck in the PU tier. Uh, Unaware Clefairy, or, oh my god. Unaware Clefable that can obviously Thunder Wave Zard and deal with it. Um, but again, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Uh, Quagsire moving down, um, making Stall weaker to Bisharp and Zardex and things like that. But a really great move, a really cool move. Um, we already talked about Heracross. Basically moved up. Being able to break through stall, the bulkier set rose in popularity because it doesn't die to any super effective hit unless it's like sun boosted or um, Mega Meta Champs um, Zen Headbutt. But a Slurp up actually moved down 
from UU to RU, and this is very, very big because the belly drum set is extremely threatening, especially coupled out with uh, Unburden. Now, you might think, well, RU has Pokemon like Venusaur and like Escavalier and like, Fle well, Fletch doesn't really count to an extent. No Pokemon like Bronzong, like uh, Venusaur, like Escavalier, yes, but those Pokemon also have other roles. Escavalier is there to check Deancey, as well as checking um, Pokemon like uh, the Psychic types in the tier and uh, Togetic and uh, Sneasel to an extent. But the thing is, those Pokemon cannot switch into moves from them and check a plus six Slurp up. For example, Max Defense, Max HP Venusaur uh, is still taking around 80%. The roll is like, I think, 72 to 80 something percent. I think I calculated it right here. Well, I'll just show you the roll right now. And this is Jolly Slurp up, which I'm not even sure you'll need. Um, Unless you want to outspeed, I guess, Pokemon like. No, you won't even need Jolly Surf up in this tier. Unless you want to beat other Jolly Surf up. I guess it outspeed like Scarf Flygon and things like that. But uh, I'll, I'll show you Jolly. Um, Jolly plus 6. Um, we're going to put Drain Punch on this as well. Just to show. Um, uh, Venusaur. This is RU Defensive Venusaur. And as you can see, plus 6 returned to 72 to 85%. Now, Defensive Venusaur is there to not only check uh, Deancey, not only check uh, Virizion, but now we'll also have to be checking this monster Slurpuff. And again, this will be scary for um, Aryu because the checks to Slurpuff, uh, meaning Registeel, meaning Escavalier, meaning Venusaur, they all have separate roles as well that they're supposed to be checking. So you get a bit of chip damage, and uh, basically, you couple Slurpuff with something like Virizion to lure in uh, maybe Escavalier, to lure in, um, to lure in uh, Venusaur, and Slurpuff has a pretty decent time uh, belly drumming up. So... Uh, this is definitely a scary Pokemon, I think, to have in the tier, and we'll see how RU actually, um, you know, copes with it. Like, even Bronzong, which obviously checks it, and Registeel, they both have their different roles that they're supposed to be checking in the tier. Like, Deancey uh, weakens Bronzong a bit for Slurpuff. I think Bronzong might be the best check for it in the tier. Bronzong. But then again, R it runs special defensive in RU, yeah. So, Dragon Punch is still doing uh, 61 to 72. Gyro does KO though when you have the um, the boost, but definitely scary. Like even even Venusaur has to think twice about switching into Blastoise, like which you could always do, not caring about the Skull Burn. I guess if you have Heal Bell the anti on the team, that's a different scenario. But if Blastoise gets a Skull Burn on Venusaur, Venusaur can no longer switch into. If Venusaur switches in on the turn that Slurp of Belly Drums up, and there's a ro there's rocks up, it already took like five percent even. Um, and then takes that burn hit, it knocks out with plus six return. So Slurpuff is definitely a scary Pokemon for the tier. There are checks, I guess, in Fletchender. Um, and Registeel will be running. Um, not that Registeel didn't run a steel move before, but Registeel definitely be having to run uh, Iron Head instead of this Stealth Rock Protect set. Seismitoss. Iron Head is definitely going to be needed on Registeel. And I don't even think Iron Head knocks out. Like, look how crappy Registeel's attacks that is. Uh, careful. Iron Head does 50 to 60. Pretty sure it has access to Heavy Slam. It does have access to he or Heavy Slam, if I'm not mistaken. We'll actually check right now. I'm pretty sure Registeel does have access to Heavy Slam. I'm not trying to nickname my Muck Registeel. <laughs> yeah, so doesn't have access to heavy slam so yeah wow it looks like it's it's a giant golem why doesn't it have access to heavy slam but yeah iron head doing only 50 to 60 percent drain punch recovering a nasty amount and you run special defensive in this tier as well so it's gonna be crazy to think how slurf of um affects the tier obviously we already talked about hair cross uh tornadoes moved from bl2 to uu i mean it was already using uu for the life orb set Tailwind support, bulk up rose in popularity as well and there's even on the rain teams it gives you the um prankster Rain Dance, so understandable why that Mon is uh, being used in the tier. It has a great moveset as well. Heat Wave, Axis Super Power, Grass Knot, Hurricane. Very spammable moves. So, um, no surprise there. Shaman actually dropped from UU to RU. 
Um, obviously, it tanked in uses, maybe because... Um, let's actually go through the UU tier real quick. I mean, obviously, Celebi. That's like a big one. Celebi came into the tier, and it, it just... Uh, it, it does it better than Shaman, man. Shaman obviously has Seed Flare, which is the only thing that Shaman really has over Celebi. It's honestly the only thing that Shaman has over Celebi. Uh, even Celebi has actually healing wish, just like Shaman. Um, but Nasty Plot Celebi came into the tier, um, being able to deal with pretty much everything. And even uh, Mega Sceptile outclasses and uh, Whimsical as just grass types in the tier. Like Shaman gets only his APP on its most spammable move. But. In the RU tier, this is huge. Again, think about the fact that Slurpuff just got to the tier. And what does Shaman lure in? Shaman lures in Bronzong that can toxic it. Shaman lures in Venusaur that is going to be weakened. Shaman lures in... Um, Fletch is obviously a check to this thing, but... Shaman also lures in a Scavalier, and even if you run HP Fire, if it's a solvent Scavalier, obviously it's not going to die to it, but you get off that chip HP Fire damage, it dies to plus 6 uh, Drain Punch, so this is huge for the tier. And uh, again, Seed Flare is very, very spammable. You can run Seed Flare, HP Fire, probably deal with Venusaur from there. Um, especially because Venusaur is forced to run Physically Defensive, or the Offensive set. Special Defensive doesn't really make too much sense when you're needing to take on Deante's Diamond Storm. Uh, Swords Dance for Rizzy, um... And uh, Hitmon Lee is just huge and powerful attack. So Shaman is just huge for the tier, especially the fact that it dropped down with um, it dropped down with Slurpuff. I think these two combined just make a really great offensive core, and they literally weaken each other's counters for each other. Like Slurpuff can just come in; it doesn't have to belly drum up right away. It can go for Play Rough and weaken Venusaur upon switch. And Shaman just spam Seed Flare, maybe we hit HP Fire. Um, and that's a great move set in Earth Power as well. And the base 100 speed uh, puts it above a lot in the tier, like Drapion. A lot of the hard hitters in the tier. So, definitely scary uh, for the tier. And I'm excited to be using these mons because I definitely will be using these mons. So, uh, next up, Rotom Fan dropped from NU to PU. I don't know how big of a, uh, I don't know how big of a change that is for PU itself. We'll look at the PU list one more time because again we're going over this. I, I want you guys to leave obviously your thoughts. I'll leave the smoke on thread down below so you guys can um, you know discuss there as well if you want to. Uh, we're gonna ignore my landline right now, but yeah, in PU I'm not too much. I'm not too sure how much uh, Rotom fan will be doing. Um, it loses to Clef just like Rotom, uh, just like the uh, the fridge form does. Um, I guess it resists Dojiro's Brave Bird, but I mean, it doesn't matter because it's weak to rocks anyway. But yeah, I don't think this mom will be doing too much in the tier. Uh, Stab Air Slash, I guess it's a... Again, the other Rotom is also able to deal with um, the Grass types as well, and Blizzard is just so much stronger than Air Slash. Uh, maybe a support set though, because it can deal with Matang if it's like defensive. will o deals with it. Uh, it's faster than Monferno and does resist Mach Punch, so that's something pretty big. Um, and then they can knock it out with the Air Slash. No matter what, so maybe that's something for the tier. Spam Willowis. So you can run a, a speedy set that's faster than Monferno. Um, but, but yeah, besides that, I can't really see too much what Rotom Fan will be doing. And last but not least, Trevenant finally left the RU tier and it is now in the NU tier. Finally, you know how long Hitmonchan took to drop and now Trevenant? I think they're just waiting for Typhlosion now. <laughs> um. But yeah, Trevenant finally dropped down to the um, the NU tier, and I mean, it's not a terrible mod. I could definitely see Subseed putting it in work. Nothing really wants to switch into this Pokemon. Um, it definitely lures in... It has a great move pool, too. Like, this thing has a, an amazing move pool. Um, it doesn't have the best special attack, but it's a attack that is sick. There's, it has access to Earthquake, access to Earthquake. Um, Trick Room as well in itself, Shadow Claw, Wood Hammer, Will-O-Wisp, Rock Slide. So it's, it has a really, really nice move pool. So I'm really just excited to deal, uh, to play around with this Mon uh, in the tier itself. Though I'm not sure, I mean, it, it, it works as a spin blocker, but then again, it's a Pokemon that's weak to Skun Tank. And spinning isn't necessarily the big thing in NU, since NU's only spinner is really Claydol and I think Sand Slash right there. Defogging is more so the thing. I guess him on Chan as well. But Defog is more so the thing in NU, uh, whereas you had reliable-ish Defoggers like Skun Tank. Um, Pelipper was dropped, but you can still use it in NU, obviously. Uh, Archeops can defog because it's fast. I mean, Kabutops can also spin, and Trevenant doesn't appreciate knockoff into Stone Edge because it dies. So, 
I'm not too sure how Trevenant will affect the um, the NU tier, but it does give you a cool mod that can deal with Tauros. Uh, Zen Hubba isn't going to be doing too much to this thing. And then there's some fun sets like Harvest with Starfberry or Citrus sub sets. I think, um, I think Executor honestly does that better. But Executor doesn't always have to run that set. Eggie is in the um, BL4. That means it's banned from <laughs> PU if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, let me see. Let me check right here. BL4. Yeah, that means it's banned from PU, so it is using it. Yeah, because uh, Eggie I think does that set better. Um, to obviously isn't weak to bug. Um, like Eggy is, so Scyther's not going to be you turning around. Uh, they can definitely take knockoffs as well. But, again, you guys can leave your thoughts down below what you think about these drops, uh, how you think it will affect things. Obviously, I'm curious as well what you think because um, though I do play all the tiers, I don't play them enough to know that, oh yeah, Trevenant being in this tier is automatically going to affect the usage of X, Y, and Z. Uh, because it gets this, but I don't honestly think Trevenant will affect too much usage at all. I think it's going to stay the same. Um, all the mons as you go through them can definitely deal with Trevenant in itself. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody for watching, of course. Leave your thoughts down below, and I'll see you guys later.